Hello people, I'm Nimish and um, I'm here to show you a, another app. It's going to be a simple picture gallery app. As you see, I made a few examples for myself. And just saying that this will um, not be from your photo library. You will actually just be putting pictures in yourself right now. And then you'll view it on the iPhone, but yeah. So picture gallery. So yeah, we'll use storyboards, don't forget that. And I don't know what these two do, so just keep them checked. Hopefully they're good. Okay. So I already have a few pictures that I got. And um, they're just, just from Google. I searched Apple wallpaper. So yeah, we'll bring those pictures in. I don't think that'd be any sort Oh my gosh. I'll just scroll all the way. And all the way oh you know what screw that retro um whatever that is Okay, let's just bring all these pictures in. I don't know what they are. Some of them. Okay. So let's look at pictures. Okay, that's good. I don't know about that. I don't think we'd appreciate that on an iPhone, but why not? Let's just do it. Too small. Okay. Now this is like no coding involved, so watch this. This is an iPhone 5 screen. If you press this button, it changes to a 4. So yeah, that's how you change that, but I want to change it for all of them, so I change this one. You bring up the attributes thingy. It's this little button right here. Or... Ah, oh, wrong button. It's Command Option 4. Yes, I got it. Okay. Command option 4. So you see this button right here, you want to press that, but nothing shows up, but you got to do this. You got to like click it. You can't just click that and expect stuff. You got to like do that. And the orientation will be landscape because wallpapers are mainly landscape. And yeah, so we want to stick this with 4, not 4, 3.5 inches. And we'd save that right away. Command S. Now let's just bring in our little thingies and rotate them. Okay. Now that I've got that, we have our four thingies, and this arrow will ex like basically show you this view first. And on this view, we need to put in a button because we're not going to swipe to go to the next picture. We're just going to press a button and it'll go to the next picture. And it's not what you might think it is. So we're going to just have that button, this tab, I guess you'd call it image would change this to whatever picture you want and then you can just drag that like that and do the same for this side and basically what you have is a big button but it's a picture as the button save it and then just keep on doing this for how many ever you want. Now I regret doing this one, but it's just for show, so it's funny. Okay. Yeah, so we just drag the button in and then put an image on it and then just drag it to its full size 
for this um, video, I'm just going to do four. Hope this works. Hope it. Hope, hope, hope. Oh, no, it doesn't. Some pictures are not big enough, as you can see, like this. So just deal with it. Okay. So this whole thing is a button, even the white space. But you're only going to see this much because the picture is only that big, I guess. So now we got to connect the buttons. You want to press on the button itself, the picture, and then you want to press Control, and then you want to click and drag to the next scene. And then you want to press Model, and you want to press this transition thingy. It's a transition thing. And then you want to actually just keep that default. Default is like pretty awesome. And then do the same thing for the rest of them. Oh, default. Okay. This goes there. Model that. And then this picture goes there. Model that. So basically you go into this scene you press this button, which is a picture, go here, press the button here, here, here. Okay, let's run it. So this is a simple picture gallery app. You can add more pictures, you can add more views, more buttons, resize them all, put as many as you want. Then if oh we forgot one thing. Okay, but yeah, you see this? If you click the buttons, it will do that. Size, nope, landscape. Oh yeah, here. We didn't do this in the very beginning, oh my gosh. You want to click on this project thingy and um, click on portrait portrait hmm, different noise okay and then run it again sorry we didn't do this before but I suck oh so yeah just an average day life's good and we opened up our app first view button image like object mm-hmm that's what our operating system is running on currently. Okay. 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 And then it just repeats because you set it to do that. And so, yeah, that's how you make a simple picture gallery app. And hope you enjoyed this. Rate, comment, subscribe. And hope to keep making these videos later on. Have a good day.